and I spend a lot of my life drawing bears. So I'm going to have a go at drawing a bear today. It's been a really beautiful day today. So I think if I was a bear, I would be asleep under a tree somewhere. Right, I'm trying to show you how much construction lines I put in my drawings usually. I don't, I draw very lightly to begin with because I'm never completely sure that I'm going to get everything in the right place to start with. So this is the bear's head, that's an arm, that's his other arm, and this is his body. And I'm going to put one leg in here, big foot on the end, and the other leg is curving around here because he's a very relaxed bear. And he's lying with his head up against a tree, I think. So there's some tree roots. Right, I'm going to start drawing in some detail. So I put his nose in and make sure that I leave it nice and light on the top so that it looks like the sun is hitting the top of his nose. That's some, he's got some whiskers coming out. I think he's asleep, so. That's his ear. Right, and I might even give him some tufts of hair there. Nice and dark under here where the sun can't see. And then his paws. On oh, his tufty tummy. Right, and look at his feet. You can see the pads under his feet. But not the other one. This one is just, you can see the top of his foot here. I hope that's starting to look like a sleepy bear. Put some shadow in underneath. I have to keep blowing the bits of charcoal away. It's a good idea to do this sort of drawing outside because it makes an awful mess if you're indoors with charcoal. Right, it looks quite soft, that's good. I'm going to smudge this bit a bit and draw these in a bit more detail. There we are, some grass. Let's give him a smile. 